today we had our 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 day special day uh, with Botswana University of Agriculture and Natural Resources regarding the crop that we have here, the same flower. Uh, this this same flower was done in August when there was a satellite event here in Muyong College. Uh, they taught us about the you know advantages of having this plant here, the same flower. You know, they demonstrated the planting of it and we continued with our learners after the day. And we realized that about 87% of the grown plants uh, germinated. And it was, it's, it's now over three months old. It's unfortunate that it's raining, but uh, this is how you harvest. In fact, this is the best stage to harvest. You see these petals here? When you harvest like this, you know, like these ones, if you come after three days, you'll find that this, the same petals will, would have come up again. It, 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 they keep on growing. So when you harvest, you harvest continuously for, four, for about three to four weeks. I am Professor Valentino Emongon. Behind me is a safflower, scientifically known as the Cathamas tinctorius. It is a drought tolerant crop and it is multi-purpose. For example, it can be used as a vegetable, it can be used for medicinal purposes, it can be used for livestock feed, it can be used for cut flowers, it can also be used for extracting dyes, for dyeing textiles and also carpets. The crop is drought tolerant, it uses very little water, it's also saline tolerant. So the whole purpose again may be why we came to, uh, to Moeng is that Buan as a research institution or as a university, the purpose of Buan is to develop technology and then to share that into innovation with the farmers and with the people, the technologies. So that's why we came to, Bo uh, to Moeng so that we can share these technologies that, we, that was developed by Buan with the community. Because the whole idea is that uh, as a university we need to empower the community. The university develops technologies and those technologies the end users should be farmers. And what usually happens is that when it starts you find it's yellow, the petals are yellow as they stay a bit they start turning red. They don't start, somebody may think ah, this is a different cultivar. It's not. It's because of the color. You see like now these colors are very good. You can also use for coloring foods, for coloring drugs the, the different colors. The red color here is called cathamin. The yellow one is called catamidin. So these are very good crop, you know, for this country. Again, as, as I said earlier, last time, this crop is drought tolerant. So it doesn't need a lot of rain. When there's a lot of rain like this, if, if, if it was young, it would suffer from root diseases. Yeah. My name is Tusa Osaraisi. I'm senior teacher at Wanag Culture Mwen College. Behind me here, there is a safflower. And the project started in August, but this follows the memorandum of understanding that we had, with, that we have um, with the uh, Guang. And one of the things is um, technology transfer and innovation. It's very, very beneficial to the learners as they use this. It gives them an option of the crops that they are growing and they take care of the crop and it's part of their, their diary. They learn production of the crop, uh, management, and they will also learn about how it is processed and the participation in, in, in the value chain. When we came here, some farmers, actually some of the teachers took some seed and planted, and uh, they're doing very well. My name is uh, Samson Manyatelo. Uh, I am here in my farm and uh, I am also working as a teacher at Moen College where I'm facilitating uh, horticulture. That's where I'm working. Currently, I am here in this farm, as you can see, uh, where I have planted my safflower. My first visit where I learned about safflower, it was at Bua where I took the students there to go to Buan to do their practical uh, field training. Well, I took around um, 80 students uh, with me to go there. 
That's the first time I learned about uh, safflower. Uh, that's the moment I spoke to the personnel who were there to arrange for them so that they can come to our school. And then the second time, they came during the STEM festival, which was done uh, this year around September, in 2024 September. That's when it was done. And I learned more there because now this time I had uh, more interaction with the professor, Professor Imongo. I was asking him a lot of questions about the crop. That's where I learned it much more during the STEM festival. Mm. Just tag this one oh, when you're harvesting okay. the seeds, separate them. Separate. Mm. This one's okay. Mm. Mm. So these are sweet potatoes? These are sweet mm. potatoes. Yeah. So just tag this one, just get something like a plastic, you, mm. you tag them. them. Say that when you're harvesting, you know this is red. Mm. You can okay. even put them red. Yeah. Mm. We are encouraging farmers to grow the crop because the, the value chain of safflower is very large because from the seed you can extract high value oil, which is equivalent to olive oil. After extracting the oil, you can use the cake for animal feed and for formulating other feeds for livestock, for poultry, even for human beings like breakfast cereal. Then the oil, you can use it for cooking. You can use it for making expensive paints. You can also use it for making cosmetics. You can also use it for making lip balms, lotions, and so forth. So it's a very high value crop because the safflower oil, the price ranges between $35 to $45 per liter. We shall come to demonstrate on the harvesting and the oil. I, I, I pray that uh, it will not be like this. We shall come with a small with one of the ladies who has got a small pressing machine. We shall demonstrate it. If the school has got enough money, you can actually buy a bigger one. You can even, even the same size. Because like what she has, she can, um, within an, an, about an hour, you know, you get 20 liters of oil. Yeah. You, you get 20 liters of oil. And 20 liters of oil, if you multiply that by 370, even if you have to sell it, how much is that? So, so that's a lot of money. So you can have, and then she bought hers for 30,000, 30,000 pula. That one's complete because it packages, it filters, that's everything's ready. But when, when you're finished with the process, it's, the oil's ready for the market. After extracting oil for only three weeks, she recovered all the money she used for buying that machine because she's selling it. Since they're promising us, they'll come again uh, to show us how we should do, harvest the, the, the seeds. Today it was on pet house and they said, you know, another time will be arranged so they could bring a, a small machine to help us to ha harvest the, the seeds. And then we'll make our own arrangement, whether to buy a machine or, or, or find a way, you know, to facilitate the harvesting of, of seeds from the safflower. Uh, otherwise, uh, we, we, we are having a very good working relationship with uh, our Botswana University of Agriculture and Natural Resources. So this is the reason why we are working with them, so that they can train our teachers and they become very effective in delivering the new curriculum uh, when they are, you know, implementing the new program for our school. So we are really happy with what is happening uh, with our, our, you know, university, our institution that is working with us hand in hand.